uh, science, the rightful place of science, is, uh, rightful is, I, I'd rather not use that word, because I don't, I, while I have strong opinions on a lot of things, I don't care whether you share my opinion. I don't, I, so I don't lobby people, I don't write letters to Congress to try to get them to do something that affects other people who are not me. I just, I don't, that's not how I approach life. I approach life as a scientist and as an educator to try to get people thinking straight in the first place. All right, trying to teach people not what to think, but how to think. How to interpret information that comes to you. How to think about what somebody says. How to judge what it is that someone else says. Judge the likelihood of it being correct or not. And that's how I view my role. So what is the rightful place of science literacy? It's that as many people in this nation should be as science literate as possible so that they can make informed decisions about issues that affect the health and well-being of this nation and of themselves. So one should be science literate and, can, and should be science literate for selfish reasons. It inoculates you against people who would take advantage of you for you not being science literate. Who's to say that the financial collapse of the markets would not have been either completely avoided or certainly mitigated if the borrowers had the power to calculate the effect of a variable interest rate on their monthly payments? If you could do that, then you could make a decision separate from the lender and saying, nope. I can't afford this if the interest rate fluctuates to this point, I end up having to foreclose my house. You can make that decision yourself. It's empowering. Not only that, science literacy allows you to vote in ways that provide monies for the people who are scientists to do science because you know that innovations in science and technology are the engines of all economic growth of the future. And there's no greater engine of economic growth since the Industrial Revolution. And countries that know that, like China and you know, many nations in Asia, already know this. And so their investments are targeting, are, are directed that way. So what is the rightful place of science? Right. If you care about your economic health, it should be number one. If you don't care about your economic health, then spend money on other stuff. But when you make that decision, I want it to be an informed decision on your part as a voting member of an electorate. I'm not gonna tell you how to vote. I'm going to tell you the consequences of your vote.